Well, yeah, that's why I like this book. You don't see Delato do a lot of indie books. Um, and certainly Delato's been a CBSI favorite to the point that, you know, we can comfortably say that, that there are a lot of Delato PC, got to buy every book that comes out type of collectors. So I look at a book like this, which has been under the radar of a lot of people. There are very few, another book, very few of these copies listed on eBay, a few sales. We're seeing cover price plus um, shipping. But again, very few listed online. Um, it was sold out at Midtown. Um, if you're not familiar with the Wired story, it's a kind of about a guy who can't die, who solves cases that are like too strange for the U.S. government, some kind of fantasy MIB type, you know, but assassin type thing, um, kind of spy fantasy novel type thing. It's a it's a cool story. Uh, I haven't fully read it. I've only kind of read some synopsis and I checked out some previews in preparation for the show, but it kind of it intrigued me a bit that I, I do want to check it out now. And again, first look deal from... Uh, Netflix, that increases the spec value of everything Dark Horse. Now, again, a lot of the Dark Horse's best books that I've seen people talk about, whether it's Briggs Land or, um, you know, uh, Umbrella or not Umbrella Academy, um, uh, Black Hammer, those have already been optioned by companies that won't be included in the deal. It's more for like the future stuff. But I look at this in a play more for those Delato completionists that th this is one that could be very hard to find. Uh, ben Stein, who is the writer of the Hot Ten, he is um, uh, also on Tales from the Flip Side with Brian on the Tales from the Flip Side podcast. Um, if you're not watching that, check that out Monday nights at 9.30 Eastern. Um, he's a guy who has covered a lot of books like this, where he's covered a lot of books where they're by popular artists who, who have done certain indie covers that become very obscure. And just, again, trying to look into my crystal ball 10 years down the road, I could see this being one of those type of books because we just don't see him do books like this. It makes me wonder, was he a fan of this book? Was he friends with one of the creators? How did this all come kind of come to be? But um, very cool book, something to keep an eye out for going down the road. Yeah, I'd be anxious to see the print run on this, especially um, when the way you were just talking about it, it kind of, not that it will, but could have the possibility of becoming that what's that art germ book right um what's like really the book isn't that great but that cover is great and it's not as easy to find so who knows blue green artifacts says he got one and i kind of agree it's 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 not his greatest cover but it's a del auto and some people might you know the collectors are fanatics so. right yeah it doesn't stack up to the marvels annotated no doubt yeah. but um yeah, it's more it's more about that completionist. If I'm a Del Otto fan and like he's really somebody I'm buying all his covers, then I'm gonna grab that Marvel's annotated. I'm also gonna grab this wire. Yeah. But I think it's more likely that a store didn't order this and this is gonna be a tougher find. 